Now, after having discussed about which are the prodrugs, now let me tell you, like I have said that, like you have the microsomal enzyme system. And this particular microsomal enzyme system, it will be induced by certain drugs or it will be inhibited by certain drugs, right? Whereas non-microsomal enzymes, they don't have this particular interaction. Only it is the microsomal enzymes which can be induced by certain drugs and some of them, they will inhibit this particular microsomal enzymes. Now, remember those particular drugs which will induce the microsomal enzymes. Right, those particular drugs which induce the microsomal enzymes, they are called as the enzyme inducers. Right, they are called as the enzyme inducers. Now, what I want to tell you here is, let me tell you the examples of this particular enzyme inducers. Right, examples of this enzyme inducers. Now, I'll tell you the examples of this particular enzyme inducers in the form of a mnemonic that is GPRS cell phone. Right, that is a mnemonic. Right, so the mnemonic is GP. R S cell phone right this is a mnemonic for the enzyme inducers now you take G G stands for greasiofulvin right G stands for the greasiofulvin the word P is your phenytoin remember phenytoin it is one of the anti-epileptic drugs and R stands for rifampicin, right? R stands for rifampicin. Now, you take the word S stands for smoking, right? The word S stands for smoking. The word C in cell stands for carbamazepine, right? It stands for carbamazepine. And lastly, the word P stands for phenobarbitone, right, phenobarbitone, all right. So, remember, these are your enzyme inducers, that is, grisiofilvin, phenytoin, rifampicin, smoking, carbamazepine and as well as phenobarbitone. Now, let me have little detailed explanation about the drug metabolizing enzymes, okay. So, if you see the drug metabolizing enzymes, now this particular drug metabolizing enzymes, these are broadly divided into the microsomal and as well as non-microsomal enzyme system, right? These are broadly divided into microsomal and as well as non-microsomal enzyme system. All right, next. The point here is, you take this microsomal enzyme system, it is present in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Right, it is present in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now, let me tell you which are your microsomal enzymes, which are your non-microsomal enzymes. Now, you take the microsomal enzymes. The microsomal enzymes, they can cause oxidation of that particular drug, right? So, they can cause oxidation of that particular drug. Now, you take this particular oxidation. The oxidation can occur by cytochrome P450. Right? The oxidation can occur by the cytochrome P450. This particular oxidation can also occur by flavin monooxygenases. Right, will also occur by flavin monooxygenases. Right, so these are the two enzymes which will cause the oxidation of the drug. Next, 
Now, the other microsomal enzyme systems, if you see, the drug can be metabolized by glucuronide conjugation. Right? The drug can be metabolized by glucuronide conjugation. Alright? Next. If you take the metabolism, the metabolic reactions by the microsomal enzymes, they also include reduction and they also include hydrolysis. Right? They also include hydrolysis. Alright? So, if you take the microsomal enzymes, these microsomal enzymes, they can cause oxidation, they can cause glucuronide conjugation, they can cause reduction and as well as the hydrolysis. Now, you take the non-microsomal enzymes, right? You take the non-microsomal enzymes. Remember, the non-microsomal enzymes, they can also cause oxidation, right? They can also cause oxidation, they can cause reduction and they can also cause the hydrolysis. Right? They can also cause the hydrolysis. Okay? So, metabolic reactions by microsomal enzymes or non-microsomal enzymes are all these particular reactions. Next, you take the non-microsomal enzymes. Remember, all phase 2 reactions, I will tell you what you mean by phase 1 and as well as phase 2 reactions. All phase 2 reactions except glucuronidation can also occur by your non-microsomal enzymes. I will explain you in the further part of the session what do you mean by phase 1 and phase 2 reactions. Alright. So, all phase 2 reactions except glucuronidation. Right, except glucuronidation will occur by the non microsomal enzymes. Now, you remember a point here the drug which is metabolized by a microsomal enzyme, right? The drug which is metabolized by the microsomal enzyme is known as a substrate, and the chemical increasing or decreasing the number of enzymes is known as the inducer or inhibitor respectively okay so what i want to tell you here is the drug right the drug which is metabolized by the microsomal enzyme this is called as the substrate right this is called as the substrate okay that microsomal the drug whichever is metabolized by the microsomal enzyme is known as substrate whereas now remember, there are certain chemicals which will either increase or decrease the number of enzymes. Okay. So what I want to tell you here is, now there are certain chemicals which will increase the microsomal enzyme and there are certain chemicals which will decrease the microsomal enzyme. Remember, those particular drugs which will increase the microsomal enzyme, they are known as the inducers right they are known as the inducers whereas those particular chemicals which will decrease the number of microsomal enzyme they are called as inhibitors right they are called as the inhibitors all right now now what i want to tell you here is you take the enzyme inducers enzyme inducers will increase the metabolism of the other drug and thus their effect will decrease okay so before going into the further part of the discussion let me shortly revise what we have discussed until now remember the drug metabolizing enzymes they are in two forms one is your microsomal and the other one is non microsomal enzymes microsomal enzymes they are present in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the drugs which are metabolized by the microsomal enzyme will be in various forms that is by oxidation, glucuronide conjugation, reduction and hydrolysis. The oxidation is by your cytochrome P450 system and as well as by flavin monooxygenases. And you take the non-microsomal enzyme system, they will cause the metabolism of a particular drug either by oxidation, reduction, hydrolysis or all phase 2 reactions except glucuronide or except glucuronidation. Next. Now, 
the drug which is metabolized by a microsomal enzyme is known as substrate and chemical increasing that particular enzyme is called as inducer and chemical decreasing that enzyme is known as the inhibitor. Now let me tell you what does the enzyme inducers will do and what does the enzyme inhibitors will do.